believe you can add a lot to this reading with your own intuitive skills. As we look at these collective images, notice what seems personally relevant to you. It might be a letter, number, color, or word. With 20 years of study and experience in decoding symbols, I know there is always more mystery to discover. Please add any of your insights in the comments. I'm all about the supportive community online. In this reading, I use my own deck, but I also collect and support many other creators and intuitive readers by reviewing their work. You can find me live on Twitch where I give free readings, or check out my class on signs and symbols, or schedule a personal session on my website. Hello, air signs. The three cards that you guys got are Her Heart Will Go On, Design, and a wordless mermaid type relationship card with the heart, the couple heart. So the prompt for you is to design, sit down and do some planning about how the future might be for you. Hello Gemini, so you know that you will be designing something and planning something about the future, how your heart will go on, and certainly your cards here do reflect that this month might be somewhat challenging for you. We see a lot of upside down cards. Now I don't always read upside down cards as being negative, but I do think that you're going to be challenged here to let go of some things in the month of April. The Four of Pentacles represented here in the D is about holding on, perhaps holding on a little bit too tightly in the face of some energy, that Knight of Wands energy, which wants to move quickly and passionately and perhaps is a little bit at odds with that aspect of you or other people in your environment that want to take it slow and hold on to the things that they have. So it might be that you're letting go of a few things this uh, this month in April, the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So we have two sevens and then we have a Nine of Ten of Wands. The Nine and Ten of Wands indicate the end of what has been a long and painful cycle. And so this would be hard work, really determination, showing up for the last battle, and then finally arriving at home, putting down all your burdens and wanting to relax. And so then we have that Knight of Wands energy that wants to be passionate and fun and have a good time. And you're just really letting go of um, the work, the burdens, maybe even not not wanting to entertain lots of options. So that Seven of Cups says you're ready to let go of fantasizing. You don't want to just imagine or get stuck in possibilities. You're ready to take action. And yet that Four of Pentacles remains, causing some potential conflict for you in the month of April with that wanting to hold on and be somewhat um, still, you know, preserve what it is that you have. Maybe there's a sense of uh, anxiety or a fear or a worry about letting go that could be um, in your environment this month and challenging you. So when you design, when you sit down and embrace the prompt to design, that your heart will go on, thinking about your heart and thinking about love, um, think, how are you going to resolve these conflicts? Maybe the creative prompt will help you find the perfect solution for you this month. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope it resonated. If it doesn't, check out another one, and have a wonderful month. Bye!